Get everyone, Viv here from Battle Bunker down in Melbourne. I said to you beforehand that I'd show you the church building, building a church, but I'm out of phone call. So I have to wait till tomorrow so I can go to the shop to get some phone calls. So I'm sitting around here, it's Sunday, there's not a lot going on. It's a beautiful day outside, I'm assuming everyone is enjoying the sunshine, it's 33 degrees. So I thought I'd show you a very quick video on how to make barbed wire. This is a fairly straightforward project. It's nice and quick and simple to do and gives you really effective, usable scenery. Here's a complete piece like you saw before. It consists of three main sections. A, a piece of basing. This is just three mil MDF. The little cross sections here. I'll show you what I used for these shortly, but you could use bits of balsa wood or whatnot. Just cut into a uh, two strips and glued together. I'll show you that as well. And the twisted piece of wire. Obviously the cross sections and the base is fairly straightforward, it's the wire that we need. So to make the wire, you're going to have to find yourself some very, very thin grade wire. This is a 0.7 of a millimetre, this stuff, just a roll from the hardware store, grab yourself one of those. Need a pair of pliers and a drill. The process is fairly straightforward, just a string of wire. We loop the wire through the drill and twist it. So all I'm going to do is take a strip of this wire here and um, just thread it around, something I'm just using the corner of the table here, or you could use a door handle or something like that. Now I'm not doing any measurements here, I'm just roughly taking about a meter on both sides. There we go, clip the edges off. Now I have two little prongs left over, just twist those into a gap and those will go into your drill bit. So the end pieces of the wire just go into the drill bit like this. Tighten up whether you've got a chuck key or something like that. Then all you need to do is go ahead and twist it. Done. <laughs> now the only thing I would have done is done this around a door handle. Loop this off easy because now I've got to snip that there. And there we have it. So that's the process for uh, twisting the wire. There's a second thing that you can do at this stage if you want and that's to add the little barbs to it. Obviously this piece of wire here, we're gonna twist around something to give us the shape. But before we do that, if you wanna add nice little barbs to it, and it's just a matter of taking another piece of wire and twisting it once or twice around the other piece of wire. Now onto that gap, we drop a bit of super glue and then we snip the edges off. So we end up with a very small barb left. Once we've done that to the whole wire, then we go ahead and wrap it around something. Then you can peel it off and you'll have that piece of wire there. The base is fairly straightforward. I don't think I need to show you how to do that. It's just a piece of foam board. Again, the little cross sections here, these pieces here, just two bits of balsa wood cut into strips and glued together. Now I used a semi-rigid foam for that that I got from some signage material that a friend of mine dropped off. It's nice and flexible and it sort of, it moves around a little bit. It's not quite uh, sort of rigid, which, which, which helps. Um, I've put together maybe 10 of these and I think I've snapped one of the corners here when I dropped one of these pieces. But that's the only thing you have to be aware of. Um, I don't glue mine down just so I can take them out if I ever need to and move them around or whatever. Uh, you could glue them if you like, but there you go. Nice, quick, simple barbed wire. Very, very quick to make, very, very cheap, very, very easy, very, very effective. <laughs> Hope it's been fun. Catch you next time. See ya.